channel. I'm Amy from Amy's Adventures and today I'll be showing you how I plan my week digitally. Um, you don't need any special apps, just PowerPoint. I'll be showing you step by step how I plan both my teaching life and my personal life all in one place. I thought I was going to be a pen and paper girl forever but after using this planner for a month I am 1000% converted. While I'm talking today I'll be answering some of the most common questions I've been getting on Instagram and TikTok, and I can't wait to get started, so let's get into it. Okay, I'll show you how I use my digital planner. So this is my September monthly spread. I'm taking a college class so I can get cheaper rent, so I've marked when I have that, and I put the TPT bonus sale. We do A and B days at my school, so I mark down which days are which. I also mark any student birthdays, and I use the stickers from the template as well. Um, I usually write down their names, but I just hit them for privacy. I mark holidays, meetings with friends, and special things I can do at school, fun things I have going on after school, parent-teacher conference. I just plan my whole life on this thing. Um, these are my daily spreads. So I use this little square one to do my lesson planning. I mark the, I just write in a text box, the time and subject I have during that time, and then I write down what we're going to do. And um, if I have like a recess break, I'll usually write down the tasks I need to do while the kids are at recess. After school, um, I write down all the things I need to get done. And if I want to cross them off like a to-do list, I can just highlight them and click on the strike through button up here that has an A and a B with a line through it. When I click on that, it's like I checked it off, which is super satisfying. And um, one of my favorite parts is the gratitude and photo dump. So I just put everything I'm grateful for that week and some photos that made me happy. This is like a super crazy week. Um, then I do self-care stickers and just all the things I did to take care of myself. And that's just my pattern throughout the week. I also do my meal planning on yours that will have Monday through Sunday and then spots for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But I usually just eat a granola bar for breakfast, so I just did lunch and dinner on mine. Um, while I'm meal planning, I write down the ingredients that I'll need for those meals. And I organize this by section in the grocery store because I've noticed if I just have a random list, I'm always going to forget at least one thing. So if I do it by section, then I can make sure that I cross everything off while I'm in there and I'm not running all over the store. So that is the pattern that I follow and I just keep these blank templates over here and just use the stickers as I want to and it's super fun because I can make it my own. Okay, I'm going to switch to my desktop so I can show you exactly how to get to the digital planner and how to use it once you have it. So I'm going to my DPT store. The link is right here and I'll put it in the description. And make sure you hit the follow button while you're here so you know when I launch a new product. And um, you scroll down and you can either comb through all of my products or you can go to this little search bar up here and type in planner. And there it is. So I have the full digital planner that's on sale right now. And I also have the stickers that if you're just wanting to use the stickers, then that's awesome. And those are half off right now. So I use these for a lot of different things and I can do a video about that later. Right now, we're gonna go to the digital planner. Once you purchase it, um, it will come up with a download button. We're gonna click on that. It's gonna load over here, but I already did this earlier. So instead of waiting, I'm just gonna click on the zip file. It's going to take a second to open because it's such a big file. Um, and then I can just move the zip file to the trash and open up the normal file. Um, I just updated this because there was a software issue that was like jumbling all the letters together. So not should be fixed. Let me know if it's not. I'm going to double click and it's going to open up PowerPoint. Like I said, I only use PowerPoint for this. Um, this planner started out as just a blank PowerPoint slide. I've been using PowerPoint since I was seven, so it's taken me like 15 years of experimenting and teaching myself how to turn some, a blank slide into a planner, and it has been like one of my favorite projects. Anyway, so 
These are the templates you can use. I'll come back to those in just a minute. And then if you click on the Adventures Digital Planner, it will come up with this. This is like the front cover, that slide right there. Um, I'm sorry, it's not the cutest. I'm going to work on that. Um, it's got copyright information. And then you have your blank calendar template. So I showed you mine earlier, and we're going to make this bigger. Um, I'm going to disappear for a second. So you've got your blank templates. If you want to add something, you can either scroll down towards the bottom. It's going to take a minute to load because, again, it's such a big file. Um, but at the very bottom, you'll see the stickers. I'm just going to take a minute. You might need to click. There they are. So you can add stickers. Like if you want to go grocery shopping that day, you just click on the sticker and then hit Command C for a Mac or Control C for Windows, and it will copy that sticker. And then when you scroll up, you can go to your calendar and do Command V or Control V and then resize it. These are saved as PNGs, so no matter what size you drag it to, it's gonna turn out crisp and clean every time. Or no matter how small it is, it's still gonna look really crisp and clean. So you can add stickers, or you can go to insert and click on text box and drag and make a text box and use your favorite fonts, one that's already Download it onto your computer as the default is Century Gothic, and that will look super nice with this. So, like, if you have a parent meeting, you can type that in there. You can make it the size that you want. You can center it, make it look nice. You can change the color, um, and then you can drag that wherever it needs to go. I'll include some of my favorite fonts that you can get for free. My favorite paid fonts are from Caitlin Albani, and that's what I use to make the planner, and I'll link those in the description as well. Um, so that's how you can do your monthly spread. And then I have day-by-day -day templates that you can plan out every hour of your day, your priorities, gratitude, goals for tomorrow, um, and that's for every day of the week. And then the weekend I just put all together and that's the pattern on all of these. And there's a gratitude and photo dump section in the self-care, which I showed you an example of. I've got lots of really cute self-care stickers down here. Just a second, let's look at these stickers. So there's a little page right here that will show you how to use them. Um, and then it has all these cute like planner stickers and teacher stickers and just make it as fun as you want it to be. This is one of my favorite pages, the cute little school section. I also love like putting washi tape on everything, like I put the washi tape on my pictures. These are the fun self-care ones. It's like you took a bubble bath that day, wrote in your journal, turned off your phone, me time, all the cute things. There's speech bubbles and donuts and cute little dots so you can just do whatever you want to make this planner yours and um, these are the balloons that I use to mark when I have student birthdays so you can do those there's cute bikes celebrate and um, some more self-care things um, eventually I will have more stickers on TPT and I'm currently locked out of Etsy. As soon as I can get back in, this will be available on Etsy as well. And um, some other bonus things are class rosters, student schedules, student birthdays, and some different paper templates. So you can type all of your student names. Oops. Okay. So this is how I fix that issue. Every page is saved as a picture. So every time you click on it, it's going to move a little. Just do Command Z or Control Z to move it back. And if you want to type something, you're just going to have to enter in a text box. And that's the easiest way that I can do this to make the file not take over your whole, um, all of the storage on your computer and so that you get all of the cute fonts. I hope that tutorial was helpful. If you still have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or you can DM me on Instagram at Amy's Adventures. Make sure you're following me on TikTok.
TikTok and Instagram to see all of the latest TPT store products, lesson ideas, and teacher life. Um, thanks for hanging out with me today and I will see you soon.